Game developers usually don't pay much attention to container and Kubernetes infrastructure. So, how to automate the process to shield the underlying infrastructure and efficiently complete game development, testing, and deployment? More importantly, if a game needs to be deployed in a global region, how can we rapidly deploy and manage game services across multiple regions? Hello, and welcome to this episode of Cloud Forward. Today, let's talk about global delivery and operation and maintenance management of game servers based on ACK1 plus OKG. ACK1 is Alibaba Cloud's distributed container cluster management platform, providing hosted Argo CD GitOps tools. These tools help users deploy applications to multiple Kubernetes clusters managed by ACK1. You can use Git to manage Open Cruise Games game server set, achieving continuous delivery of game servers across multiple clusters through ACK1 GitOps. Next, I'll guide you through how to build CI CD pipelines for dev, staging, and production clusters on Alibaba Cloud and automatically deploy the latest images to these environments after code changes are committed to the code repository. Additionally, we'll explore deploying the latest images to different environments through dev, staging, and production clusters. First, you need to prepare the business repository, code repository, and the application deployment code repository. Then, after enabling and logging into ACK1 GitOps, the operations team configures CI building processes and rules, associating them with the ACREE instance. Following that, the development team needs to push codes to the code repository, triggering ACREE to build the image and push the new versions to the ACREE image repository. At this time, ACK1 GitOps detects changes in the image repository. ACK1 GitOps will then update the new image version to the application deployment code repository. Upon detecting the change in the application deployment code repository's image version, ACK1 GitOps triggers the application to deploy the latest image to the continuous integration development cluster dev. After completing the continuous deployment, the development team verifies the application in the dev environment. Once dev environment verification is successful, the operation and maintenance team manually triggers the synchronization of the application to the staging and production environments. Argo rollout or cruise rollout is used to implement a canary release, ultimately updating the images in the staging and production environments. Next, I'll use the echo server example as a demonstration. The business code repository is the forked echo server project, and the application deployment code repository is the forked GitOps demo project. Due to the needs to write back application changes to the application deployment code repository, you must fork this repository to your account and modify configurations such as image repository and image tag in values YAML for different environments. Step one, CI is built based on ACR. Create an ACR image repository, bind it to forked echo server project and set up build rules. Step two, Credentials for ACR image repository and application deployment repository are configured for GitOps. The ACK1 GitOps component automatically monitors changes in the ACR image repository, fetches the latest images, and simultaneously writes back the tag information of the newest image to the Git repository, updating the application. By configuring the appropriate access credentials for GitOps, you can enable interaction with both ACR and the Git repository. Here, we connect to and access the GitOps system and the Git source repository, creating the GitOps application. Configure ACR image repository access through credentials, allowing GitOps to monitor changes in ACR images. Then execute this command to configure a secret resource named ACR in the Argo CD namespace of the ACK1 fleet instance. Subsequently, Configure Git repository access credentials to enable GitOps to write back application image changes information to the Git repository. If you configured a username and password or a private key certificate when adding the Git repository in the GitOps system, applications using this Git repository will have default permission to write back changes in application container images to the Git system. Step three, automatic updates for the application are configured and the application is deployed to multiple clusters. 
Automatic update configuration for the application can be achieved by adding the following annotation to the application. The ECHO server in value of the Argo CD image updater.argoproj.io slash image list is an alias, and its value is the address of the image repository. Multiple addresses can be configured, separated by using English semicolon columns. Multiple addresses can be configured, separated by using English semicolon commas. Modify as needed. Here we can see the configuration for the Helm orchestrated application. You have the option to deploy the application on the development cluster, achieving automatic deployment of the latest images. Alternatively, you can deploy the application on the staging and production clusters, enabling manual triggering of a canary release. Step 4. Roll back the application. If the application deployment fails, you can roll back using either a quick rollback or an end-to-end -end rollback. Step 5. Test the CI-CD pipeline. According to the ACR-CI configuration rules, send the branch tag that meets the rules to the source code repository to trigger ACR to automatically build and push images. Execute the command to push a new tag, customizing the actual tag name as needed. Next, check if the new image has been successfully built by logging into the container image service console. In the top menu bar, select the desired region. On the left navigation bar, choose Instant List. In the Instant List page, click on the target Enterprise Version Instance. In the Enterprise Version Instance Management page, select Repository Management, then Image Repository. On the Image Repository page, click on the target Image Repository. Next, on the left navigation bar, choose Build. In the Build Log area, check whether the new image has been successfully built. After the new image is built, execute the command Argo CD Image Updater to view the logs. Check on the GitHub to see if this file is automatically generated in the application deployment code and repository. If successful, this indicates a successful write-back. This demonstration will generate three such files corresponding to the development, staging, and production environments. For example, the development environment file's contents are shown in the image. In the development environment, the development image has been updated to version v 35 a 7147 In contrast, the staging and production environment requires manual synchronization and triggering of a canary release. Only then will the image in the corresponding deployment be updated to v 35 a 7147 If you are keen to know more about Alibaba Cloud, Cloud Native Game Solution, click the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos of Cloud Forward in the future. Until next time.